Hey guys, it's Alex with Plants and Paws. Welcome back to my channel where we hang out with my cats and talk about plants. If you are interested in feeling better about your plants and, you know, maybe laughing at me a little, stick around because this is my houseplant tour. Alrighty y'all, we are starting this plant tour with my African Violet. It's just a plain little guy, um, no variegation or anything, and it hasn't flowered for me in ages, which is kind of depressing. Uh, maybe they don't, maybe they need a hormone or something. Um, got cat hair on it shocking I know um, still cute still like it it likes the grow lights so we're good this is a baby that I made from this African violet and it is super cute and little it was a water propagation that I kind of just put off potting up for months and it grew all kinds of like this one two three different plants in there but they all came from the same leaf cutting basically i just took a leaf you don't need a node on these you take a leaf and you plop it in water and boom you get this it's great uh, let's see. Next up, we have this pathetic thing. You might remember this from my. Oops. I think. Ah! I'm making a mess. You might remember this from my most recent houseplant tour. Nope, that's what this is. My most recent shopping with. <laughs> my most recent shop with me video. It is a Juncus effusus spiralis, AKA corkscrew rush. And it was $6 from the spot in, it was $6 from the spot in Sausalito. It is not happy. That's one of the plants you can laugh at, but not too hard. It don't make it feel bad. Uh, let's see, this is my one and only snake plant that I have. It's the Sansevieria zeylanica. It has grown this leaf in my care. I literally just bought it as a rehab from the nursery. Um, and it just started putting out that new leaf, which is really exciting. Right there. I cannot wait. I hope it actually decides to grow for me. And then there's this guy my goldfish plant, who I must say is doing the most for something that I bought as a terrarium plant. I don't know whose terrarium is about to have this plant in it, but beware, they can get pretty big. Um, obviously it's not the largest plant I own, but I'm very proud of it. And it's very cute. It's got kind of succulenty leaves and they have these dark red undersides. Next plant is my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess, I believe. I can never remember which one has the variegation on the inside versus the outside of the leaves, but she cute, she cute. Uh, let's go on to this. Um, I also got this as part of a terrarium set, I believe. Oh, it's some kind of pink syngonium. I don't know, but it's really tiny and cute. And I bought it even tinier than this. But yeah, it's just got like a faint pink blush on the leaves, on the top of the leaves. It's very cute. And then we'll do a 
quick update because you watched me propagate this a few videos ago. Um, I have no idea which, I think this piece here and maybe this piece here might have been pieces that I propagated from, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I, I directly sewed all these into soil and you can see these these guys right here are the newest um, this node is right below where I cut um, yeah I don't know I ain't got much to say about it but it's cute and I like it and I I'm fearful that it one day might, oh no, that's backwards. Ooh, it's very backwards. Um, <laughs> I'm fearful that one day it might be as big as Becca De La Plant's Adansonii tree, and I don't need that in my life because I live in a tiny apartment. Anyway, here we have my little mocha pot terrarium if you will it it used to be cute but the string of turtles all kind of died and that's sad um this is actually from my queen of heart cactus queen of the night cactus excuse me um but yeah it's just like a little mocha pot where you, you know, make your own espresso but it was gross from a thrift store so i washed it and i put plants in it instead of tea and coffee uh, instead of coffee oh my god I'm having an interesting time speaking today next we have my sissus discolor that I rescued from the trash area in my building she's very cute um, it was not happy when I found it though um, it doesn't have like a whole lot of purpley pinky color on the leaves like other ones do though which is kind of strange, but I mean, you can kind of see it, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I like her. I'm ready for her to get big any day now. Okay, okay. And then, and then, no, and then, um, and then we have this guy, my little white Fitonia. It is so cute. Um, I've already taken propagations from it, so it's probably bushier than it was last time y'all saw it. And it might actually need a repop, but we're not doing that anytime soon because that is how I always end up killing them. And I refuse to kill this because it's so cute. Now this guy is something I would never have bought for myself, but it is rather cute. I am surprised that it's alive still because my boyfriend got this from a friend who frequents the bar that my boyfriend works at, I guess. Um, and I guess this person knew that I like plants. I'm doing my best to not overwater it, which is the single most important thing for literally any plant. Don't overwater it. Just don't do it. Uh, next, we have this little mini jungle of propagations that aren't doing much. This Hoya obovada still only has like a tiny bit of roots. Uh, same with its twin in here. And it's a little better, but you know, what you gonna do? I don't know if it's ever gonna do anything since it's a single leaf cutting. Um, I have some syndapsis rehab in here. I literally just put them in here because they were unhappy in the soil that I had them in. And then of course there's some pothos. Ring ting ting. Um, let's see. Next I have my Cebu Boo. Cebu Blue pothos. And I keep saying pothos, even though I said I wasn't gonna say pothos anymore because these are not pothos, they are ep ep They are epiprenum. 
Um, pothos are teeny tiny and adorable, but they look more like Hoya with soft leaves. It's very confusing. Anyway, apparently they're very rare plants that you don't see normally. Um, anyway, my Epiprenum Cebu Blue is dripping on me. Cool. Um, but I've had to rehab this plant a couple of times, which is disappointing, but it is pretty. It's happy-ish right now. Uh, let's see. Oh. And then, of course, we have big girl over here. My golden Hawaiian epiprenum. Ta-da! I know, I know. We need a close-up. So, that is her in all her glory. I keep intending to make a video of me repotting her with this little trellis in, like actually attach her to it, but who knows if that's ever gonna happen. But yeah, like these leaves are massive. And that's not even the biggest leaf. Like, check this kid out. She's got gorgeous leaves. Love her. Bought her as a cutting, and I'm very happy about it. This little station, and I'm going to move over here. So we have my gorgeous bird of paradise and my little aglonema friend who is growing these little baby leaves down here that we talked about in one of my last shorts. Super cool. Means she's enjoying the uh, window I've got her living in. Uh, my crocodile fern, which is really cool. These are the old leaves from the nursery. And these buttes are the ones that I grew. I didn't know she made little tails. But that's cute, look at that. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I like it. Um, yeah, she's got that. And then here is my terrarium, which I'm gonna put over yonder. So we have this terrarium, which I have classily enclosed with plastic wrap, whatever. My only begonia is in here. Um, I did this as a single leaf cutting just to see if it would take um, because I was selling this plant because it overgrew my apartment and I was just like, nah, bruh, you gotta go. Um, you can see my little heart leaf fern in here. I love her. Um, there's some pink Fetonia as well. It's getting a little leggy because it didn't get very much light for a minute, or at least not enough. Um, you can see, I need to dust this thing off a little bit. I've got my blue star fern in there. Also, an unhappy plant. That's the blue star fern. Uh, well, it's not all unhappy. It's just these two leaves, apparently. And then I have this little bit of Peperomia Hope, I think. I don't know exactly. And then behind that, we have my Creeping Fig. There. Love that guy. And yeah, that's my terrarium. And of course, behind me, we have these guys. This is my Marble Queen Pothos. Um, and she is in a hanging basket, obviously, but not so obviously is it's a self-watering pot. Um, same with this little guy. It's my, uh, I guess it's technically a golden pothos or green pothos or ugh, 
technically it's a green epipenem, but there's some Marble Queen mixed in there, and I'm not sure why. And then my most favoritest baby on this side. This is my Philodendron Brazil, and she's just doing the most. Let me take you on this side. This is my Philodendron Brazil. She's gorgeous. Some of these leaves are just like so extra. Like look at this one. Look at that leaf. Can we see that? That's like got the tiniest little spot of dark green and that's it. I don't even know what she's thinking. But she's super cute. You know, up there, she's looking good. I'm already tired making this video. Okay, and behind me and above me, we have my spider plant here. This is a Bonnie spider plant, the curly version, and it's variegated. Um, next to it, we have some sort of succulent that I have no idea. I rescued it off the street. And then we have my little Easter, or my little holiday cactus. Excuse the dirty shelf, that's gross. And then of course, and then of course we have gardening because murder is wrong. And this little guy is so cute, is it not? Um, yeah, so that's that area. Sorry that I'm switching filming styles, by the way. My arms are getting tired. Um, this is another curly, bonny, variegated spider plant. And my leprechaun aglaonema, which I guess is the golden version of the silver bay, which is silver and this is less silvery. Um, here we have my Hartley philodendron, the one of the original ones I ever got. I freaking love her. She's so long. Look at it. Look at it. She's so pretty. Um, my baby bunny belly Tradescantia here. Also pretty long, long girl. Uh, another piece of my variegated spider plant because my love for spider plants knows no bounds apparently. And we have this guy. What is this called? Um, Syndapsis pictus argirius, aka lady love. I don't know. I feel like an idiot when I talk about plants sometimes. I just like them. Also, remember to be hopeful, be encouraging, be thankful, be accepting, be loving, and be yourself. The world is a better place because you exist. My, my gorgeous Spathophyllum sensation, which I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting a little droopy. She's thirsty. She's been doing a lot of work pushing out this leaf for the last six months. <clears throat> All right, here we are in the section of room above my desk. And I just realized my living room light was off for that entire portion of the video, so I apologize for crap lighting. Let's get into this part. So, we have my Syndapsis pictus um, exotica. She's very long, um, and she ke I think she keeps growing back up herself, which is kind of cool. Um, it's actually a quite long, vine plant but you know, again she's kind of going up a little bit um i have a regular a regular peace lily here yes i know that's a dead leaf no i'm not going to pick it off right now uh, my queen of the night cactus she's continued to only grow leaves which is fun Another Hartley Philodendron, my beauty, 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 beautiful friend. She's quite long also. She goes all the way down 
back over there, and then over there. And my first spider plant that I, thank goodness, never killed. Um, love that guy. It's actually two spider plants put in one pot and they going crazy. Just a little crazy. Um, here we have my ZZ plant that I took propagations from. I, I don't know. I don't know why I keep this plant. It doesn't really do much for me in growth or in pleasure. Um, you know, keep plants that bring you joy. Yeet the rest. These are some pieces of my African violet. Um, I'm seeing if I can propagate multiple plants from them. The two in the back here, these two, have already put off babies for me. This one I just pulled off. I don't think it's doing very well though. That's okay. Here we have, and here we have my, what is it, Maranta, my green Maranta. It's been having a hard time. I don't know. Like it has all these growth points, but then it's not doing anything, and I don't know what to make of it, but we're trying. It lives in this humidityless, well, lower humidity area. It lives in this lower, <laughs> it lives in this lower humidity area of my apartment, which is a, just across the room, which is just across the room from my humidifier over there. It's supposed to make the entire place very humid and I think it works, which leads us into this guy. This is my what, black stem alocasia. I have the curse of the three leaves. You can tell. <clears throat> also, my constant spider mite friend here. Very annoying. All right, and next to it, we have this little guy, which I believe is a Diffenbachia that reverted back to green and it's very depressing and boring and I don't really care for it. Um, we have my variegated Maranta, which I do love very, very much. Look how pretty that is. Like, can you even, I mean, ignore the crispy leaves, shit happens, you know. Um, this guy is putting out babies for me too. You can see there, here, that's a baby, this baby. This cute little baby. Ugh, it's so hard to show off the variegation. Anyway, uh, my philodendron varicosum. I don't know what's happening. I don't think it likes me, but we're trying. We're gonna be friends one day. It is putting out this new leaf for me, so that's exciting. Um, my trio star here looking lovely as ever. And my Calathea orbifolia is putting out some honking leaves. I'm very excited about that. Look how gorgeous that is. Like gorgeous. And my Hoya pile. I don't know what else to call it. It is a clump of Hoya of various descriptions that you will have seen in multiple videos now. I've taken propagations from them. They're fine. Whatever. If you want to buy them, let me know, I guess. This is my red Maranta. She's in a very cute pot and not in a very cute state of life. Some brown ass leaves in there. It's whatever. Shit happens. It's got a cute pot though and it makes me happy. Uh, <laughs> No, don't, don't get the fern. Anything but the fern. All right. My Anthurium Magnificum, which I got in my Equigenera order, has put out this new leaf. I'm not sure why they look so different. This one's like super velvety and this one is weird looking. Although it has more venation. Um, but yeah, it's got like weird spots on it. I don't know. I don't care. My Philodendron Melanochrysum baby, which 
I have no idea why my melanocrysum and my varicosum hate me because my gloriosum, as you will see in a moment, loves me. Whatever, dudes. Um, I did just pot this guy up though, so that could be part of why these leaves are falling off. Who knows these things? I don't. And then my tiger fern. You cannot really see her variegation at the moment, but I promise she is variegated. Well, not variegated, but like stripey, like a tiger. Duh, that's why they call it a tiger fern. You see? Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just so pretty. Um, I got a new Tradescantia Sabrina on my last shopping trip. Like her very much. Sparkly, yes, yes, good. Oh, I was like, something is missing over here. It is this guy who I have been keeping on top of my humidifier. This is my Philodendron Brantianum, who I, I think it's trying to ask for help by spelling letters writing letters I don't know um, what do you see I don't think the humidifier is helping but one can hope um, this is the beautiful little Calathea with lots of mold or whatever the um, that's stuff is it's growing lots of new leaves it's very happy at the moment and I have some little propagation guys um, more green maranta that's pretty much all I have propagating um, I think these pieces came off of my variegated maranta and they just weren't variegated so I chopped them off um, oh I didn't actually tell you rattlesnake calathea is what this one's called just FYI and then this little cute little fern Oh, I love. Yeah, like a light green stripe going down the middle of the fronds, and that's really cool. Um, then this tenanthe that I have put through the ringer. It was suffering spider mites recently, so it looks like dookie. It used to be a lot more full than this, but it lost some leaves due to those little bastards. Um, my velvet calathea, gorgeous as always. Um, it also had some spider mite damage, but it's looking better than my Tenanthe, so there's that. Um, oh, and I guess I'll just show you this beautiful green Maranta, nice and big. Sorry, you can see the cat box in the back there, but hey, I've got cats. They gotta go potty somewhere, and I just pray it's not on the floor most days. That is one of Jane's lovely proclivities. My Philodendron Gloriosum. Sounds like a goddamn Harry Potter spell. Um, yeah, this plant is rad though. Like, what is that? And why did this leaf happen? I don't know. Why is this petiole so freaking long compared to everybody else? I don't know. But it's putting out a new leaf and I couldn't be more excited. I mean, I could. I. I Really wish this was a climber, not a trailer. No. I wish this was a vining slash trailing plant and not a crawler. But whatever. And then I have a little Tradescantia here. Adjust that in my hands. As you can see all of it. It's very cute. I like her. It's green and white. When it's happy, I'm happy. Um... Probably it's less happy when my Gloriosum is trying to encompass it fully, but we are trying our best here. Okay, and here we have my little Hoya Bella, which is probably not getting enough light or apparently enough water. It's a very light pot right now. Yeah, I'm gonna water that in a minute. More Maranta cuttings. This might actually have been the variegated piece. Um, I love this little cup that it's in too. It was a weird shaped mug to drink out of, so I just decided that that wasn't gonna be what I used it for. 
Oh, and I have packing tape over here because I'm a lunatic who puts things everywhere. Just kidding. It's just ADHD. And that's okay. My philodendron pastazanum. Again, getting weird new leaves from my equigena or equigenera order. I don't know. It's got some weird like texture colored thing happening. And then I moved this guy back over here. Oh, my domino peace lily with the elephant pot that I adore. Thank you, Elizabeth, for giving that to me. And of course, another piece of Fetonia because who would I be if not a Fetonia lover? So pretty. All right, and last but not least, we have the light that I should be using for this video, but I'm too lazy to set up, so my apologies. Another golden, well, golden green, whatever, epiprenum. She huge. She just lives here on top of my toaster oven. Quite happily, surprisingly. You'd think she'd have like, I don't know, burns and shit, but she doesn't. She's... I think she's enjoying the warmth actually, cause I mean, I live in San Francisco. This pot feels like it's gonna fall over. Okay, crisis averted. Oh my God, that's disgusting. <laughs> Dirty ass. Anyway, my gorgeous green potho. My gorgeous green epiprenum. Like, look how long she is. I didn't even realize she was that long because I had her turned towards the sun and away from the door here. Anyway, here we have another Syngonium. I adore Syngonium. This one does not like me back so much, but that's okay. Um, we have this little guy, which is just some sort of green Tradescantia. Love that guy. Very cute. Ugh. Although, some of it, for some reason, it's not very happy, all of a sudden. Uh, my cute little, oh, I'm gonna tangle that. Don't want to. My cute little string of hearts, baby. Very cute, very cute. Look how long it is. And then this Discidia Million Hearts, who I love. My lemon lime philodendron i took half of this and put it in my propagation box because it wasn't very happy and some of that died some of it didn't we're good i guess uh let's struggle to open this one-handedly my propagation box which has some ep uh not epiprenum um <laughs> it has some philodendron melanochrysum cuttings still in there and a piece of Hoya Cretaceae, none of which you can see clearly, but we're doing our best. That is sphagnum moss that I bought from a good company, my philodendron micans. Look at her, look at her, look at her. She's so cute. Um, and I propagated that guy recently. I propagated my philodendron melocrite. Well, you guys all know that propagated my micans a few months ago and looks like some of the pieces are dying and some of them are thriving this piece is clearly not the latter so we're gonna pop it into a propagation box i have no idea why i'm even keeping this except that it is still green uh, this is a piece of um enjoy epiprenum Anyway, uh, my lemon lime epiprenum, cutting of my Monstera laniata. I think this might be a Diffenbachia as well. Don't know, not gonna put it in my mouth and find out. Um, this is some green Tradescantia that I got from a take a plant, leave a plant. It is officially 
too long to go up the wall apparently. This is a chaotic video. I'm sorry, folks. Forgive me. I'm tired. Um, this is my Monstera Celta Picana. This is my Monstera Celta Picana. She's very cute. Love her. Propagated her a few months back as well, so she could be a little bit thicker. I don't know if it worked. Did a little bit, but not enough. Anyway, love this. Love the pot I've got her standing in. Um, I actually have her raised up on a tiny little nursery pot so that she would drape elegantly over instead of all being like that. Uh, my other open terrarium with a piece of ruby cascade in it. It's a pretty little guy. Um, this is a Kalanchoe here and a Haworthia here. I also have some cute little crystals and I found these little acorn shells that I apparently dug and put in there. Um, my Hoya Retusa that I really could give two shits about apparently. Another piece of Hoya of Monstera Laniata, which needs to be repotted because it grow dries out way too quickly. And my fiddly fig, which I don't think this is a Bambino. It's just a small guy that I got from Walmart two years ago. And it's happy. Just chilling next to the window in the grow light and getting water when it dries out completely, which is almost happening now. And of course, one of my first plants during the pandemic, along with a few others. This is my Syngonium white butterfly. We love her. She's crazy, wonky. Look at that crazy ass growth pattern. I've talked about it in my wishlist plant um, when I was talking about the burl marks that they kind of grow like that cool looking leaves, crazy growth pattern, you know. Um, and I think last but not least, we have my Monstera Laniata Madre. I'm going to take it over here. Um, so she goes from all the way up there, all the way down there. Oh, I apologize for the mess. Um, I actually have some sphagnum moss in the top of the pot there because she kept drying out only at the top. It was very weird. Well, thank you all for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I have to go call my best friend back because she called while I was filming. Sorry. And now I'm going to go eat dinner with her. <laughs>